Well, good morning. One of the things that's been really exciting for us as a church over the past year is to see quite a few people being baptised and, and expressing publicly their faith in Jesus. And I'm delighted today to be able to baptise someone. Now, you'll notice if you're in church that the baptistry isn't open uh, and that's because we're going to be doing a slightly different kind of baptism this morning. I'm going to be baptising a man called David and David's been part of our church now for a good couple of years and he is 91 and he has been saying for a while to me that he really wants to be baptised. Now for health reasons he unfortunately can't be baptised in our baptistry uh, and so I'm going to go and baptise him at home in a slightly different way to normal. But what I love about this is it just goes to show, there's, there's been something I've been saying to the church now for a good number of years, it's that God isn't finished with any of us yet. And I'm so glad that in a few moments I'm gonna be baptizing David, he's gonna share something of his story, and uh, we're gonna celebrate with him what God is doing in his life. Well, it's so good this morning to be here with David. Uh, and David this morning is going to be getting baptised and and if you remember when we are baptised we're, we're kind of baptised for three reasons. Uh, the first reason is because this is something that Jesus himself did uh, and we want to follow Jesus, we want to be like Jesus and so we imitate in what he does and, and Jesus himself uh, was baptised uh, in the River Jordan by his cousin John uh, and, and so we're baptised because of that reason. We're also baptised because it's one of the things that Jesus commands. It says in the Great Commission, go forth into the world, baptising people in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. And so it's a command of Jesus that we are baptised. And then finally, and most importantly, baptism is a symbol, an outward symbol of what God is doing inside of us. And in being baptised, what we are doing is we're identifying with Jesus in his death and resurrection. As we have the water sprinkled on us in this case, it's a symbol of dying to our old way of life and being risen with him. And this is what David is going to do today. But, but first of all, David's just going to share a little bit of why he's being baptised. You're probably wondering why a 91 year old man is wanting to be baptized and why he hasn't been baptized before now uh, i'll try to explain many of you will know that i've spent a lifetime in the salvation army and that the salvation army is a non-sacramental organization meaning it doesn't practice baptism or holy communion for many years I've had a real desire to be baptised and to partake in of Holy Communion. It's only a, in the last few years my circumstances have been such that I've been able to follow my heartfelt desires in uh, getting to a position as I am today of being baptised. My interest in baptism has led me to search the scriptures. As you know, there are numerous references in the Bible to baptism. And I, I just mention a few that I have prayed about. Uh, 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 the first most important one is to recognize in my own life the example set by Jesus in being baptized by John the Baptist. And we know that um, when Jesus went down to the River Jordan to be baptized, uh, John was a little hesitant in wanting to baptize Jesus. and. Um, he said, uh, uh, I really need to be baptised by you uh, and you come to me. 
But I think the, the Jesus' words here, I think, are most important, and certainly most important to me, when, he, when Jesus said, let it be so now, it is proper for us to do this, to fulfill all righteousness. And following that, Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist. Um, a further uh, scriptural reference was in Matthew 28, when after the resurrection and when Jesus met up with the disciples and uh, he uh, said to the disciples, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me, therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And finally, uh, that has been a, uh, an incident that has been of great importance to my uh, experience and my, my relationship with Jesus um, is when Peter, after the disciples had uh, received the Holy Spirit, they went out into the public and uh, was pre were preaching, and the crowd was so moved in their hearts mm -hmm. by Peter's gospel message that they said to Peter and the other disciples, brothers, what shall we do? Mm -hmm. Peter re replied, and these are very familiar words, and I'm sure you will be aware and know them. And he, Peter said, repent, uh, that is a, a very uh, important aspect of all this, that they were asked to repent and be baptized, every one of you, mm. in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, mm. and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Mm. Uh, with all this, and uh, much reading, um, I feel that the, the evidence in the scriptures of the need to be baptized mm -hmm. is irrefutable and therefore have decided uh, to be baptized in, obe in obedience mm -hmm. to Christ's commands. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, David, and thank you so much for, for sharing a little bit about yourself but most importantly, the reasons why you are doing this today. And, it, and it's all about obedience, isn't it? It's being obedient to following Jesus. You know, mm -hmm. Guy was speaking about that this week, wasn't he? He was mm -hmm. speaking about what it means to follow the shepherd. And this is one of the things that the shepherd asks of us. Uh, and it's a way of showing that we're following the shepherd in mm -hmm. being baptised. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, in a moment, we, I'm going to baptise David. And, and as David has said, we're going to do it a little bit differently. Uh, we want to be respectful uh, of the fact uh, that David has got health issues uh, and we do want to just make sure that we look after him in those. And so we're going to baptise David uh, by sprinkling. And uh, this morning I've brought with me something. Uh, it's a bit of an old, old church artefact. This is uh, the font uh, filler, uh, I believe, from uh, the United Reformed Church uh, from back in the day. So that's quite a few hundred years old. Uh, so it's good to bring that with us today. Uh, and I've also brought with me my special bowl uh, from Jerusalem, uh, because uh, I don't know if you're aware, David, but I went to Jerusalem once I, upon a time. <laughs> I wasn't aware of that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> but David, before I can do that, I, I do need to ask you some questions. David, do you believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit? Yes, I do. Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour? Yes. Do you turn from sin? Do you renounce evil and intend to follow Christ? Yes. And will you live within the fellowship of the church and will you serve Jesus Christ in this world? I will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Well, it's upon your confession of faith and your obedience to Christ that we are happy to be able to baptise you today, David. David, I baptise you in the name of the Father, I baptise you in the name of the Son, and I baptise you in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Can I pray for you, brother? Mm -hmm. Lord and Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for David, Lord, and I, and I thank you for the testament of his life that just demonstrates that you are not finished with any of us yet, Lord God. Lord and Heavenly Father, I thank you for his stepping out in obedience, in being baptised today. And I just pray for him now, Lord God. I pray that you would fill him with your Holy Spirit, Lord, that you would baptise him in your spirit, Lord, that you would give him gifts and you would fill him with your fruit, Lord, so that he can witness to this world of your great love and what your son Jesus has done. We ask it in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Bless you, David. Thank you. Bless you. <laughs> I now need to try myself. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We definitely got you wet. <laughs> <laughs> certainly was water. <laughs> Bless you, buddy. <laughs>